Born in 1877, Edmund Lockhart, also known as the Sherlock Holmes of France, was a French criminalist best known for being a pioneer in forensic science and criminology. Lockhart studied medicine in his hometown at the University of Lyon, where he had grown a strong interest in the conjunction of law and science, so much so that he titled his medical thesis, Legal Medicine Under the Great King. Throughout Lockhart's career, he published over 40 pieces of work, the Treaty of Criminalistics, a seven-volume series, being his most famous. During the First World War, Lockhart was a medical examiner working with the French Secret Service, attempting to identify cause and location of death by examining the stains and damage of soldiers' and prisoners' uniforms. In 1912, the first forensic science laboratory was formed as the Lyon Police Department gave Lockhart a few small attic rooms in which he was able to scientifically analyse criminal evidence. Lockhart is well known for his advancements in the field of dactylography, which is the scientific study of fingerprints as a means of identification. Following the establishment of the lab in Lyon, he furthered his research by also developing poroscopy, a branch of study focused on analysing fingerprint pores and the corresponding impressions they create. He proceeded to state that if there were 12 specific points of similarity between two fingerprints, it would be an adequate method for confirming identity. This research ultimately resulted in the adoption of fingerprints as a means of identifying criminals, surpassing previous methods that had been used. However, Lockhart's most contributing factor to forensics is his exchange principle, which states that when two objects come into contact with one another, each will take something from the other object or leave something behind. This concept is generally summed up by stating, every contact leaves a trace. The logic behind this principle enables investigators to create connections between suspects to victims, to physical objects and to crime scenes. Edmund Lockhart died in 1966, however his exchange principle has been greatly influential in the study of forensic science and is frequently quoted to this day.